Hello folks, after a long time, I'm back uh, from making videos. Actually what happened was I was suff my health was suffering a bit of allergic reactions to some dust particles. So my my voice went hoarse. So with hoarse voice, how can I do uh, videos? So that's why after some recovery, I'm here. Uh, this question has been asked by one of my students. Uh, in our language, it means a uh, famous. His name is Prasiddha and uh, in our language, it means famous. Uh, so he pointed uh, to, to me this question. Actually, he wanted the last part only, but uh, without doing the initial parts, I cannot uh, just uh, uh, tell the last one. So I'm doing it from the beginning. It's about the it's the chapter uh, kinematics actually kinematics and forces. Uh, it says that uh, it's after 12 May June paper two three and the question number is two. It says a motor drags a motor drags a log of mass. 452 kg, 450 kg, upper slow by means of a cable, cable here, as shown in figure 2.1, 2.1, the slope is inclined at 14.0 uh, degree to the horizontal, so it is, uh, symbol will be alpha for our purpose, alpha for our purpose, uh, show that the component of the weight of the log acting down the slope is 1070 newton, so if it is the plane here, and if the log is like this, it says the component of the weight which is a mg down the slope so this thing so this thing this is the component here it says the component is equal to this much so the component is equal to the component 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 will be equal to according to our literature which we have studied it's equal to mg into sine of alpha where alpha is the angle formed by the plane with the horizontal here it is 14.0 so it's equal to mass equal to 452 452 into z is our standard value 9.81 into this is sine of 14.0 degree so this becomes equal to so it is a 452 into 9.81 into it is a sine uh, 14 equal to so this becomes 1072 1072.71 uh, uh, Newton, Newton actually. So if I did three as it will be equal to one zero seven and then zero Newton only. So that is the answer as required by the question. Now the log starts from rest. So it starts from rest here. Uh, a constant frictional force of this thing, which is FF here, FF, acts on the log. So if the log is moving in this uh, in this way, the frictional force should be acting in this way. So here, the frictional force will be like this. So this is FF acts on log. The log accelerates up the slope at 0 0.130 meter per second square. So if I draw this diagram here, draw this diagram here, what happens is uh, the acceleration is in this direction, the frictional force in this direction, FF, and also the component of that weight, which is uh, which is 107 something, which is mg sine of alpha. So alpha, this also should be in the down direction. And the tension of the cable should be equal to this is t so what happens is uh, <coughs> sorry the tension of the cable is in upper direction so it is t minus minus pressure force is down direction it is ff minus again this mg sine alpha is in down direction so this is the resultant force and this resultant force is equal to m into a since it is accelerating upward i have to assume that this t is more than the the sum of these two so that's why uh, the resultant force is equal to T minus the sum of our two forces equal to MA. So T should be equal to equal to FF plus MG sine of alpha plus MA which is equal to FF is uh, frictional force is 5 to 5. 5 plus this whole MG sine alpha is equal to uh, 1072.71 plus mass equal to 452, 452, and the acceleration is equal to this 0 0.13 into 0 0.130. So this value will be equal to, so this is already here, so plus 525 equal to, plus we have 452 into 0.13, back close, equal to. So this is 1656, equal to 1656.47 Newton. So nearby equal to it is 1660 Newton. So 1660 Newtons. If I use 3SF. Now, the next page. 
the log is initially addressed at uh, point S. So it is initially addressed here at point S. It is pulled through a distance of 10 meter to the point P. So till point P, till point P is equal to 10 meters. Calculate for that log. Uh, we have to calculate two things here. The time taken to move from S to P. So we have to find the time from here to here. So that requires that we have got the displacement of this thing is equal to 10 meters. 10 meters. Uh, so our equation will be equal to this S is equal to S equal to uh, ut plus 1 by 2 at square. The initial velocity is uh, 0, 0 here because it is said that the log is initially at rest at point something. So equal or we have got S equal to 0 into t plus 1 by 2 and this at is equal to this a is equal to 0 0.130. So it is, let us say it's first a t squared. This is 0. So this t becomes root of twice s by a. So it's a formula as well. So it will be better if you remember it by heart as well. So equal to root 2 into 10.0 divided 0 0.130. So that will be equal to 2 into 20. So 20 divided 0 0.13 equal to this much. So this uh, power 0.5, root means power 0.5, so it's equal to 12.40 seconds. So it is 12.4 seconds, so 12.4 seconds. Now the velocity at the point, uh, velocity at P, so it's equal to V square equal to U square plus twice A S, U equal to 0, so it is twice A S, which means V equal to root of twice A S. So that's equal to, we equal to root 2 into 0 0.13 into 10 equal to 2.6 power 0.5 equal to. So this is 1.61, 1 1.61 something something, 245, so it's just 1 with 61. So this much meter per second, 61 meter per second. Now the major part, the major part which has been asked to me. Uh, the cable breaks when the log reaches point P. So as you pull it here, as you pull it here, pull here, the cable breaks here. Uh, on figure 2 by 2, sketch the variation with time t of the velocity v of the log. So we have to sketch the uh, variation of velocity v. The graph should do, would show v from the start at s until it reaches s. So that means it goes from here and then comes here. So from here to here, it was suffering from acceleration. There is tension t, some frictional force there, some mg sin alpha, but there is acceleration. So that means the velocity increases uniformly from zero. So initially at zero, initially at zero, so velocity should increase uniformly like this. So let's draw it like this. The velocity should uniformly increase like this. Straight line through the origin, through the origin. Then, then here, so when it reaches point P, point P, it reaches the maximum velocity. Now the now 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 the <coughs> cable breaks or cable snaps. So if the cable snaps because of its velocity, it still continues its climb. It still continues its climb, but its velocity starts to decrease rapidly. Rapidly, the decrease is more rapid than the increase previously. It's because what happens is when it is going up, its acceleration was this much, this much. But when it uh, the string snaps. The a will be equal to a down will be equal to just a g sine alpha and that's equal to equal to 9.81 into into sine 14 should be equal to 2.37 so 2.37 meter per second squared so from p to from p to the top point it will retard at the rate of 2.37 so 1.0.13 2.37 so that's why the retardation is a very high compared to the acceleration so the slope should be very very high negative slope very high so it just does like this like this so from maximum to zero it reaches very soon that's why the slope is very high but negative so at this point at this point it reaches here it reaches here then it returns so when it returns what happens is the direction of velocity changes the acceleration is uh, still same, or the retardation is still same, but the direction of velocity changes. So that's why it will come down, it will come down in a straight line. It will come down in a straight line, straight line, straight line, t 
till it reaches this yes this yes so it has to come down like this till it reaches this s now <coughs> what happens is what happens is uh, from here to here and from here to here the distribution is same so if i draw it perfectly what must happen is what must happen here is here is the area of this thing and the area of this thing should be same because area denotes the displacement so the displacement upward and downward should be same so what i must do is if i do it perfectly do it perfectly with calculations calculations what I should happen is this area and this area should be equal and it seems so also it seems so also is because i had a pre-knowledge of this so even if it's not equal uh, the mark scheme allows that uh, that error is because it doesn't uh, say uh, do it quantitatively so this is what we should be doing in this graph